Okay. So another option to get a pattern into Clo is to actually just find um, a garment already created in um, Clo. They have like the closet, <laughs> kind of little playoff words. I think it's also called Connect now. I put a link there for you. If you ever forget the link, I always just go to Clo 3D and um, it's always at the very bottom of the website. Anyways, I'm already in it. Um, and um, they have all kinds of garments that you can download and open into Clo, and they're already sewn together. They're on an avatar for you. Um, I don't know why I have two windows open, but I do. Um, and so you can do free. If you want to look just for free ones, that's absolutely fine. If you're okay paying 10 to $20, you know, you can also look for paid ones as well. Um, I like to think, well, at least the money goes to, you know, another hardworking designer, right? Um, but here's a free one, and this actually reminds me of one of the dresses that one of the students kind of posted. It's very different. It's short. Um, it doesn't have a lace-up, the one that the student designed, but it was, um, you know, I mean, it could, it was similar as far as there was kind of a v-neck and it was sort of straight design. So this is something you could at least start with and then adjust it in Clo. So, um, so anyways, shop their designs. Maybe this is the way to go. You can add it to your cart. I'm doing that right now and then you go and you check out when you're done okay let's see here are they gonna make me try to pay zero dollars I think I just have to hit I agree um, PayPal I guess I don't even know let's try this I'm done this one okay download perfect so I just hit PayPal it obviously didn't go to PayPal because it's free um, and now I'm downloading it's not now I just have to figure out well how do I open this in Clo? I see it's a zip drive so I do believe I need to unzip it so I'm just gonna go to my download folder um, I'm just gonna give it a double click 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 and then it should unzip the file and hopefully I can see some sort of project file would be great yeah ZPRJ what a wonderful extension because that extension usually includes an avatar the pattern the sewing maybe some fabric details it has everything so that's a wonderful file extension um, sometimes your file extensions won't be the Z project. It might just be the pattern, um, which is also fine too. Okay. So anyways, I'm going to go to Clo and I'm just going to go file open and I'm going to open up a project because it was that dot Z PRJ. Again, if it was just a garment, I forget what the extension is, but it's similar to garment. <laughs> it's not Z PRJ, but anyways, in my case it's project. So I'm going to click open new project. I don't need to save this file is pretty much blank anyways and I have to go find where I saved it I did save it in my downloads here it is open okay okay here it is I don't see the avatar let's see if there's one here I'm on my toggle menu I'm gonna click avatar oh yeah so they did not include the avatar for this one so you will have to open up an avatar and that can be a little tricky because like well, how do we know if the avatar is going to fit or not so I'm going to go to library I'm going to double click on avatar I'm going to choose female version 2 I know you have your avatar already your client you can start with that but if the fit is really off I would recommend trying to choose one of the basic ones so I'll just pick the first one double click 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 let's see how this fits Okay, that's pretty funky, isn't it? It could just be in a weird position. So what I'm gonna do, I'm going on the 2D side, I'm in my selection tool here, letter A, I'm gonna click and drag over all the pattern pieces and my gizmo comes up. I'm gonna look for that arrow that's going straight up and down. Definitely gonna make it higher. I'm gonna rotate a little bit. I'm gonna look for that blue one. Let's see if I can kind of set it on her a little bit. I'm gonna hit the number two. Um, hmm kind of tight on her so I'm wondering is my girl is this model maybe too big or maybe just more form-fitting maybe I should just scooch it a little bit and use this red arrow maybe it's okay I don't know it might be a little tight I'm gonna hit number two again I'm gonna rotate just a little so I don't accidentally get that green line I want this red arrow hmm Okay, so I am going to do something new. I'm going to simulate. I'm going to hit the space bar, which will add gravity, and hopefully the fabric can be smart enough to get away from our model's body. So space bar. 
space bar is like the same thing as hitting that arrow. It's just a little bit more effective. So you can see the computer is pretty smart. It knew to get the dress out of her skin. I can see gravity is falling down. It's pulling down. I don't know if something's heavy or what's going on. Yeah. Okay. So it's on her decently, right? It's an okay fit, but it's not our avatar. I'm going to hit space bar. Oh, it's like bouncing up and down. I'm going to hit space bar to stop the simulation. So gravity is gone. Okay. Then at this point, I still wouldn't change to your avatar yet. Instead, I would try to design it on this one. You know, you'd probably, if you don't have this in your design, you would want to select it. So let's see if I can, where is this thing? Okay, there it is. I might just hit delete to get rid of it. My computer's thinking about it. Oh, it doesn't want to delete it. Look at it. <laughs> okay, and I probably don't need this one either, so I'm going to delete that one too. Um, and then maybe this V is too low. So maybe the neckline is different. So then you can use this edit pattern tool, the letter Z, and, um, and you can move some things around. So I'm going to grab that anchor point. I clicked it so it's highlighted and I can click and drag and bring it up. I think if you hold shift, it makes it so it doesn't accidentally go at an angle. Sometimes that's helpful. Um, and this way you can try to match this to match your design a little bit better. Um, right now, if you didn't have a V-neck, it's supposed to be a curve. There are some curve tools here as well that you can use. Let's try maybe just edit curve point. Actually, if you just right click it, you can say convert to curve. Let's see if that does the trick for us. Kind of works out. Um, and if you hit the letter C, that's this edit the curvature, then you can actually click and drag the curve. Sometimes that's helpful. Oh, both of them are selected though. I'm gonna deselect, so only one side was selected. There we are. Oh, maybe that might not be the best one um, to use. So they have some curve tools. Maybe you can add another point here kind of play with the curves. I can right click it. Let me see here. Actually to add a point, um, you would hit the letter X is the keyboard shortcut. And maybe I put a point here. Then that way you can go back to the Z tool and then you have these points to kind of click and drag and maybe that could give you a little bit more control. Now this pattern is different than the one I was working on in Modular Configurator, meaning it's not linked. So anything I do on the left side, it didn't automatically do on the right side, which is fine. So you can kind of play with that to try to get whatever your design was that you're kind of working on. You can delete anything you don't think you need. Um, you can see it has darts. I'd probably leave those unless, you, you know, whatever, that's fine. I'm bringing the hem down. Um, I could have held shift and also grabbed the other hem. Now again, I'm in the Z tool, which didn't select the whole pattern, so that's why I was able to select just the bottom of the pattern. Oh, it looks like this side is linked. Um, yeah, so anyways, try to make those changes, try to get the pattern similar to your style so that we could then next module do a basic fit on the avatar. Um, just get us to a place where we're kind of happy so then we can print out the pattern because it is a lot of work to hand sew this guy together. So I really want everyone to have a decent pattern that's close to their customer.